I think I've discovered the main cause of what was going on yesterday and it's because the Elevons are not taking the right reaction for pitch to get the plane to react in the right way. And uh, I discovered this by taking some more of the suggestions in the comments which was to check in fly-by-wire A mode to see what the Elevons do when you move the body of the plane. Um, the reason I didn't bother to do this yesterday but I will definitely be doing it in future every time, um, was because in manual mode, everything's working correctly. So if I pitch uh, pull the stick back, both elevons go up. They both go down when I pitch forward, and they take the appropriate reactions for roll. Uh, roll was perfectly fine, by the way. There was no problems with that. It was It's just pitch. So what this says to me is that the plane knows how to pitch up. So if I say pitch up, it knows what to do. So I thought, okay, no problem. And also in fly-by-wire A mode, if I switch now now here and I pitch up again, same thing, uh, a little bit less travel. Apparently the gains are quite low to begin with until you do an auto-tune and then it gives you a little bit sharper response after a while. But anyway, pitch back, elevons go up and everything is in the right direction. But the problem is, even though it knows how to pitch up when it wants to, and as I'll show you in a minute on the screen there, the artificial horizon is correct and everything, when I pitch the nose up, we get the elevons coming up. Hopefully you can see that. So it's taking the opposite response to what it should be uh, to react to a change in attitude and if I pitch it down again you can see that's the wrong response to correct this so I think that's why it just sort of shot straight up like that yesterday um, and the roll is actually correct so if I lift the right wing up the other one over there will come up to correct it so roll is correct and pitch is wrong but it's okay when you're doing it from here so that's why I didn't notice that I don't know why this one should be okay but then this one should be wrong that doesn't really make sense to me and I know what you're thinking you're probably thinking that I put the uh, flight controller in the wrong way around or something like that uh, but let's just have a look at the um, display that we're getting on the um, artificial horizon so I'll record that and I'll show you what I'm doing here so we're about level and then we roll to the left, roll to the right. It's probably a little bit slow to react on that screen, but anyway, those should be okay. And then we pitch down, and I'll, I'll just hold it there for a second so that the artificial horizon can keep catch up with us. And then pitching up will be like that. And then back to about level. So the uh, artificial horizon tells me that everything is correct. So the plane knows, it knows which way it's facing and it knows how to pitch up and down when it wants to. So why the hell it just doesn't do it the right way? I have no idea. So at the moment that's what I'm stuck on even though I've figured out kind of what's going on. It doesn't really help me to fix it. Okay well I figured out what the problem is. At least I've managed to fix it. And as you probably guessed it was just me making a stupid mistake actually only one or two little settings that needed to be fixed. I was so close yesterday to having it running. Uh, the two settings were the servo one function Elevon left and right here and I when I put my servos or when I put the flight controller into the plane and connected servos up I noticed that the servos or the um, Elevons were going the exact right way if I swapped channel one and channel two. So I swapped them over but I didn't also swap this over so what I should have done is set servo 1 to be right and servo 2 to be left to match the way that I'd plugged them into the flight controller pins. Uh, and I didn't do that. And I also, somewhere along the line, I had to reverse one of the servos as well. And it sort of looked like everything was working when I moved it with the control stick on the transmitter. But it is obviously very important that whatever channel you're using for... Uh, well, it needs to know which is the servo on the left wing and which is the servo on the right wing and I basically had them around the wrong way and I just covered that mistake up with my reversing of this uh, setting down below. Uh, so that was one problem 
and I just sort of fumbled around making various settings of these two uh, parameters there and there and also for servo 2 and I also discovered that when you um, reverse I think it's when you set it to reverse or something like that I'm not going to touch it now because it's all working very well but I've noticed that when you play around with this um, setting it also changes this checkbox I'd never checked this but for some reason when I came and looked at this it was checked and I noticed that setting servo 2 reverse or servo 1 reverse or whatever would would check this I'm, but I'm not sure if it actually functioned as if it was checked because um, it seemed to be okay and this green bar was going the non-reversed way even though this checkbox was checked so there's something a little bit dodgy about that and also I found that if I intentionally checked or unchecked it it would not reverse my pitch inputs all it did was reverse one of those two Elevon servos to be backwards so there's it's a little bit strange, I'm not really sure why, but everything's okay now, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. So I eventually got it into a situation where it was working, but one other thing I had to do was reverse, on my radio I had to reverse the pitch channel. There's just no other way to get around it, I had to reverse the pitch on my radio. So anyway, that's uh, all I needed to change from yesterday, and now things are looking very good. And one other thing I did, as many people suggested in the comments from yesterday, about the flight modes is that if I just reversed my channel 5 it would make it a lot easier for me to keep manual on this position so this is my panic mode position now will be here and I'll have channel 4 in the middle and channel 1 will be actually my uh, upper most PW impulse so that works out quite nicely and obviously I kind of knew that <laughs> that would be an easy way to do it but I was trying to make the point yesterday that the user should be able, allowed to choose whatever they want um, that was what I was getting at. Okay, I think I've sorted that problem out and have a little bit more daylight today. So this time on my switches I have manual and fly-by-wire A as recommended and uh, auto-tune. Not sure if I'll be able to get to try, try that in this flight, but let's just see how it goes. <laughs> bit rough on the launch again. Alright, just get it up a bit higher, and then we'll try fly-by-wire A there, there we go, that's what we wanted wasn't it? Nice, oh it's like angle mode eh, well, well it doesn't turn very quickly. This is full left aileron. Let go sticks, levels out nicely. Okay, well, that fell over. Uh, okay, well, it's good. Very good. Very, very good. Full left aileron. A little bit of pitch up. Turn it back around this way. Let go again. Okay, I like this. So it's just a little problem, eh, that was stopping me last time. This is all hands off, of course. Let's do full right aileron here. Beautiful. Oh, this is great. Full left aileron. Very easy to fly. So I will try auto-tune now, you just auto-tune here, so basically I just keep doing what I've been doing I think, full, full left and right aileron for a while, about 15-20 times or something apparently, uh, I'll just give it a full turn there. Full left again, full right, oh this is so easy. I'll give it a full left there and then a full, I guess it needs to be wiggled and waggled a bit in this mode doesn't it? Holding it full to one side all the time is not really what it's supposed to be doing. So I'll just zigzag around a bit like this 
and that's probably enough for aileron. I'll just give it a full left turn so that it's going back down that way and then I'll try pitch. Alright, pitch up, full pitch up, full pitch down. Wow, this is going to be really hard to crash. I have to come back now. Full pitch down, full. I've got to stick right over like that. <laughs> and it's just sort of gradually descending. So I'm just slamming the stick one way or another like this. And look at this, it's just impossible to crash. Well, at, at that altitude anyway. Cool, man. Uh, okay, so I think I'll switch back into fly-by-wire A mode again. Not sure if I need to do anything else to save that auto-tune settings, but I can't really tell that it's changed much anyway. So back into fly-by-wire A. Nice. It's a bit sluggish, like you can't really... This is full pitch down. Oh yeah. Wouldn't want to get too close to those trees though, because... Yeah, you just got to keep in mind in this mode that your turning radius is kind of large. And you can't climb or descend very quickly either, but it is great that you can just let it go and it'll just do this. Um... Alright, so I think I'll switch into manual mode here again, and land, oh, and uh, then I'll try, oh god, <laughs> here we go, okay, so this is going to be fly-by-wire B, and then return to launch. And I armed it just here, so this should be the home point, I think. Uh, that's manual mode. So fly-by-wire B, I think, is the same as fly-by-wire A, but instead of the pitch adjustment being adjusting the pitch of the aircraft, it's going to set a target altitude. So let me just turn around here. And okay, fly by wire B. Full left aileron. Oh, the throttle raised a little bit there. Yeah, it's adjusting the throttle a bit more than it did before. Okay, full right aileron. Yeah. So when I let go, it levels, I think it's, it's changing the throttle to account for the fact that it, when it's banked, it's going to have less uh, lift maybe. Something like that perhaps. Anyway, it seems to be keeping the same altitude from what I can tell. So I'll just let it go over there a little bit and then we'll do a return to launch. Looks good. God, there's a lot of flies out here. So this is uh, 80 meters apparently. Well, that's what I set it to. So, okay, so this is a home point. It looks like it's going to do a uh, clockwise circle around us very nicely. Clockwise looking from above that is. Wow. That's it. That's what we wanted. <laughs> so it's just my fault not making one or two little settings correctly yesterday, but we we're pretty close. Um, wonder what radius this is. Looks like about 50 meter radius. Anyway, I'll um, 
when it faces that way again I'll just sw switch into fly-by-wire B and see if it just goes off into the distance. There. Yeah. Beautiful. So if it's keeping its altitude properly, when I switch back into return to launch now, it shouldn't have to adjust altitude. So let's see what happens. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, it drooped a little bit, maybe a couple of meters, but then didn't really have to change anything much. Nice. So um, this is with no airspeed sensor and it's working very well, but there's pretty much no wind, so I guess you don't really need one in this situation. Okay, it sort of comes along and then it veers off that way. Good. I wonder what the... Uh, I don't have a battery. Okay, I have enough confidence in this now. From what I saw when we were flying Phil's plane, it's just going to sit there going around and around and have a look at what's going on here. Oh, it's not, a, not as nice a circle as Phil's one was. I don't know if you can see that there. No, it's, it's pretty good though. Nice, man, this is great. So I think I might, um, might just land it and see if I can do a quick mission before it gets dark today. Oh, this is so, so confidence inspiring. <laughs> Now, like I say, I wouldn't be so keen to just take my eyes off it like that if not for the fact that we flew Phil's plane quite a bit like this and it just it just did everything perfectly. So, uh, fly-by-wire B. Actually, I'm going to have to make it manual. Wow, golly. Oh, man. Flying in manual mode sucks after doing that. Okay, well that was a good landing. Okay, now I have the middle switch set to be auto and I set up just a quick mission over that field there. It's just going to go down and back and down again. And the home point I set manually to be about where that water trough is. Uh, should be at 100 meters altitude the whole way. Anyway, <laughs> see what happens. Wow, that... Uh, this manual mode is a bit rough. I should have to, might have to do something about this. Okay, let's get up to about that high and switch auto. All right, hands off. See what happens. Climbs up to 100. It's good. The first waypoint is about there, and then it's going to go basically down along the top of those trees. I hope. Oh, not quite, but. Close enough. It's going to turn around. It's a very short mission. Oh, I don't know if it's going to be able to turn sharp enough. Yeah. That turning radius was a bit large. Let's get it that way. Yep. Nice. And then straight back down to there, but over the top of those trees there, and then should come back here. Yep. Lovely. Looks like the return to launch altitude is the same as the last mission waypoint, is it? Oh no, it's losing a bit of altitude there. So it dropped down from 100 meters to 80 meters, I think. I'm recording this on my uh, video camera on the laptop screen, 
so we'll be able to see what it was doing. Okay, so it's uh, now it's done a return to home, and uh, that's it. I think if I if I flip into auto again, it'll start doing that mission one more time. Let's see what happens. No. Oh, I think you can re restart the mission from the ground station, but you, maybe you can't do it from here. Looks like it's just doing a loiter still. What if I do manual and then back into auto? No, it's just going to circle around the last uh, around the home point, I think. Oh, that's fine. Works great. Very, very confidence-inspiring. Like, it just keeps the altitude way, way better than iNav does. It's making me dizzy. All right, manual mode, landing, and then we better stop because this battery's getting a bit low and it's getting dark again. But that is a much, much more uh, satisfactory result today. So I'm very happy with that. Oh, had to go and ruin it, didn't you?